I think the, the, the document that the administration issued on Monday, which laid out their negotiating objectives, uh, is quite interesting. It's in some areas quite general, so we'll have to see what the specific proposals are. But in, in many respects, it tracks uh, the Trans-Pacific Partnership negotiations that we did with Mexico and Canada, as well as, uh, as, well as nine other countries uh, in areas like labor and environment, state-owned enterprises. Uh, uh, now we'll see whether they follow through on issues like digital economy and intellectual property rights and others. I think the real question is, can Canada and Mexico agree to those concessions with the United States without the benefit of getting access to Japan's market or other benefits that they got out of TPP? And what is it that we're going to provide Mexico and Canada in, in return? There isn't much we can do because our market's already quite open.